Today, we're going to use Facebook search to find groups of your ideal clients on Facebook, even if you don't serve other business owners. I'm Jackie Johnstone of JackieJohnstone.com, and I help you get all that social and digital marketing stuff sorted out so you can find and reach the people that you can help. I am re-recording this video. It originally dated from 2014 and I've updated it several times since because Facebook continues to change their search functionality. It used to be called graph search and now it's just regular search as far as I can tell. This is January 2017 if you're watching it um, and this is the most up-to-date um, at this moment of how to use the Facebook search to find groups. So let's dive in. It used to be the first search I would do um, on Facebook was to find the groups that people who already like my business page were hanging out in because obviously that makes sense. You want to know where your people already are hanging out so that you can maybe find other people who would be interested as well. Um, unfortunately, it seems like now with the Facebook changes that if your business page has less than 5,000 likes, it's not letting you do that search. So just as a caveat, um, I, my business page doesn't have over 5,000 likes, so I can't search that. Um, we're going to use um, somebody else's business page. Um, but if you do have over 5,000, that's the first search. So regardless of whether you're using your own business page or somebody else's business page, um, I'm going to use the example of John Loomer, who's a Facebook expert, much has a much, much bigger audience than I do. But of course, there's a chance that we have an overlap. So where are those people hanging out? So what I type into the Facebook search bar is groups of people who like John Loomer Digital, because that's the name of his business page. Um, groups of people who like John Loomer Digital. So where are people which groups are they hanging out in? And you'll see that you'll come to this um, Facebook uh, search page and there's all these tabs across the top, but you should see right up at the top, um, this little box, groups of uh, joined by people who like, and then the name of the business page that you typed in. So you go to see all, and just as before, you're going to see groups that you have already joined, so groups that you are a member of first. So the first couple of results are, or even more depending on how much overlap there is, are not gonna be that interesting for you. Then it does seem that the new Facebook search is tailoring to show the biggest groups first. So you can see these groups that I'm not a part of, these, some of them are massive. So the really massive groups. And they're also trying, I think, to sort of tailor it to my profile. So that's why you're seeing lots of breastfeeding and baby stuff um, on my particular search results when somebody else is probably gonna get different search results. But if you continue to scroll down, um, you're going to start to see results that are probably uh, of interest here. So I don't know what this uh, awesome marketing planner group is, but that could be interesting. That looks interesting. I would probably want to go and read the description before I just ask to join. Um, I'm going to keep going down here. Yes, yeah, lots of the search. The search results used to be more relevant. I feel like they've gotten less relevant now. They're trying to tailor them to like my interests or something. Um, Oh, so many moms groups. Mm -hmm. uh, this boss moms group, I'm not um, a member, but I can see that a couple of my friends are members because I can see their pictures here. So that could be interesting. Anyway, you just have to kind of keep scrolling down and scrolling down. As you can see, the, the groups are slowly getting smaller because sometimes the really big groups are um, you know, a little more overwhelming and it's harder to make real connections depending on the group. So I would continue to scroll down and down um, here. Now, you can see that the, you know, as you keep scrolling down, it takes, it's my page keeps spinning because Facebook is doing the search live. So let's do another one. Um, groups joined by people who like, uh, oh, let's do a, a location-based one. So this one, this one still works. Group joined by people who live in Toronto, Ontario, for example. So if you had a local business, this might be relevant for you. So 
So this is groups of current Toronto, Ontario residents. And again, if I press see all, I'm going to see more groups that the mass, the most massive ones are going to show up at the top. And these are just totally not relevant to anything um, business related. So you're gonna have to keep on scrolling down. You can also continue to refine this. So groups joined by people who are over 40 years old and live in Toronto, Ontario. Uh, why isn't this working? This worked before. Honestly, I feel like they made this they made the search less friendly <laughs> than it used to be. Um, why am I not seeing? Hmm, what was the search string that we used before? Groups. Over 40. Who live in Toronto? Uh, let's try that. Ah, there we go. So you just have to kind of mess around with the shirt search strings. It used to be the many variations worked in an old graph search, but now it doesn't seem to. So groups joined by people who are older than 40 and who live in Toronto, Ontario. So you're going to see different um, results here. Again, if you press um, see all. Um, groups of people, let's try who like yoga and live in Toronto, Ontario. Yeah. So these are people who have listed yoga as an interest on their Facebook profile and live in Toronto, Ontario. So again, if you go down past the giant groups at the top, there's probably going to be some relevant groups if you are, for example, a yoga teacher in Toronto. So the Facebook graph search isn't as friendly as it used to be for this type of work, but it's still really powerful. There's very few other um, I don't even know if there are any other kind of social networks where it'll let you do this type of kind of backwards searching, right? Instead of just typing in like, um, you know, Yoga Toronto, for example. So let's go to the search page for that. Right, you're going to see different posts here. But if I was to click groups, Yoga Toronto is just going to give me groups with the words yoga and Toronto in the headline, which is great. Like that's a good place to start but it doesn't necessarily, you know, drill in the same way, like which groups are, are of these groups are joined by women who are over 40, for example, if those are your ideal clients, Facebook will let you drill into that with the graph searching um, possibilities. So definitely play around with it. You might have to kind of monkey with the search query um, language to make this work now, um, but it still works and it's a very powerful tool um, for finding groups of your idol clients on Facebook.